Theta 741 IC. We are going to solve the second and the sixth pen. So second pen to the sixth pen. We need C1 uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor which we are going to be connecting serially from the third pin of the 741 IC. So from the third pin on the same line we are going to be connecting the uh, end of the resistor. Second resistor is connected horizontally with the first resistor. Next, we are going to be using five 2.2 kilo ohm resistors. Now, from the third resistor, we are going to be connecting to the ground. Third resistor to the positive VCC. The other resistor we are going to connect from the junction of the second and the third resistor to the positive VCC. Next one we are going to connect it from the junction of the first and the second 1 kilo ohm resistor to the positive VCC. From the third pin, horizontally we are going to connect it to the positive part of the VCC. Next we are going to be providing the power supply to the breadboard. First we are going to be connecting minus 12 volts to the fourth pin of the IC. Next the plus 12 volts is connected to the 7th pin of the IC. The plus 5 volt supply is given to the plus 5 VCC part. Next, the ground is given to the negative part. Now we are going to be using a multimeter. The uh, negative of the multimeter is connected to the common ground and the output is connected to the positive of the multimeter. The output is taken from the 6th pin of the 741 IC. Now we, uh, as we have connected D0, D1, D2, D3 to the plus VCC, the value of the inputs that we are giving is equal to 1. So as all the 4 are 1, the uh, decimal equivalent will be 15. Let us check the output for uh, 15. That is 4.32. Theoretically the value must be 4.62. Now let us check the value of the output for different values of input. Uh, let us say 0 for example. So connect all D1, D0, D2 and D3 to ground to make it as 0. And the output we are getting is 0. Now let us check for 0001. The output we got is 0 0.43. Now for 2. That is 0 0.83. Similarly, we have to check from 0 to 15 all the values. The values which we get on the multimeter are the practical values. 